Hi guys, welcome back to Rome Total War, the original playing as the Julii Part 31. And with the announcement that this game is getting remastered, I'm pretty excited. We're going to try and get this, this whole campaign finished just before it uh, releases. And then we're going to play someone else on the new game and test it out and see how it goes. Um, everything's been going quite well. Um, we attacked the Bretons recently uh, this turn. We're also sieging down Jerusalem and we're about to siege down Petra. Um, it looks like they might attack us at Damascus, but that's not really an issue. We're also going up towards Armenia, so we've got a lot of battles and a lot uh, of stuff to do. So let's end the turn and see what happens in the end turn. Yeah, not much it looks like. Okay, this guy's a true Roman, which 5% bonus to popularity with the Senate isn't... Like, obviously we don't really care what the Senate thinks, however that plus one influence is good, and he's also a confident commander which can, you know, increase. So, let's accept him. Uh, and he has been put into a retium. That means we have another general, potentially. Which is good. I don't know where you are going. Are you just waiting outside the city? Okay, we've got the four of those guys. Um, hmm. Now we just need four archers. I mean, would like if we got four archers. So we've got four more slots. I would quite like two more cavalry, honestly. So there's one there. And. Yeah. Maybe we'll just one more cavalry, we'll see. We do have two uh We do have two generals, so Okay, Town Grows Kydonia, that's actually really good. Saves us having to build these. Hey, what can be retrained here? Oh, it's peasants because of a blacksmith. No worries. Uh Lucius Julius Treasurer. Nice. This guy is amazing now. He's just so old though. He will die very soon. We might have to leave Plaucus Glaucia, however you say that, in a, in a retium, just to govern it. Because it is our capital. It is always nice to have a governor there. Um, if not for anything else other than just story reasons, honestly. Um, Dober. Right, let's have a look at what battles we want to do first. We are going to go to war with Spain. I don't really want to go to war with them right now. So I guess we'll retrain the army over there. Uh, send these. Guys. This is uh, Carthaginian land down here, rather than Numidian. What a terrible settlement as well. I guess they have Lily Biom and this. Surely they don't have anything else. I don't think they will have anything else. Hmm. Uh, first things first, let's siege down Petra with our new, well, half new army. I mean, you guys can go here. I mean, it's not going to do anything. Right, Bostra, Jerusalem. That's a small force in there. Hmm. This is their last three. So once we've taken Petra and Jerusalem, these armies should move out. Uh, we can potentially leave someone behind here, even a mercenary, and move out. Up here, yeah, we'll fight that uh, some of the time. So first things first, I think we're going to go for Jerusalem. Uh, probably just shoot them to shreds. Uh, Twenty-five to one. We don't need to fight that. Uh, they did kill fifty though. That's tragic. Um, what do we want to do here? It is a large city, so let's exterminate. Otherwise, the public order will be too bad. Wow, they've got... Uh... Can we afford to do this? I'm just about. We've got some good... Uh... We've got some good barracks here. And good stables. That'll allow us to get legionary cavalry. And war pigs. No, we don't want war pigs. <laughs> uh... Yep, yeah, let's retrain those guys and let's get a few more leadering cohorts. I think this army is also going to be like sort of a lower tier one. It's not going to have Praetorians, just legionaries. Because they're just a lot easier to retrain wherever we go. Uh, military Tribune, Resistance. Oh, yeah. 
We've just started that, haven't we? Right, let's see what we can do about these Armenians up here. Uh, with Tiberius. How old are you, Tiberius? 22, and he's got three stars. Understanding of tactics. That's really good. Yeah, wildly extravagant, though. Minus three management. Obviously, the management doesn't really matter if we're using him as a general, so... I guess... It doesn't matter. Um, right, we've got these guys here now as well. Yeah, hopefully they don't get attacked by the rebels. Uh, potentially could do. The problem with that would be those cavalry. So honestly, I might... Sinope's unhappy already. We go monthly games and we should be able to send... We'll send this guy here. He'll also go with them just in case. Uh, no, we don't need to retrain them. But let's see what we can do about this Armenian army. Yep. Engage the enemy. Ah, we're stopped by these rebels. Yep. They're back to a bridge. Oh my days, it's just Eastern Infantry. And a couple of hillmen. Uh, we do have those two uh, Scythian mercenaries, which are good. Mainly cavalry, this army, though. So, obviously, standard tactic. <laughs> Engage them at the front. <laughs> Charge them in the back. Always works. Always works in this game. This game, like, literally, <laughs> this game you kill a general and charge them in the back and that's it. That's just what you to say. And then let us arm ourselves to the teeth, just in case the gods aren't listening. Those men over there are the Armenians. They think they are our equals, our enemies. I think the carrion birds wait for them. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. We are even matched in numbers, man for man. But that does not tell the whole story. Yet, for all that, we are the stronger within ourselves. We are the greater warriors. Our horsemen are strong, but then so are the enemy spearmen today. A little care and judgment will be needed. The gods are great, it is true, and they will grant us victory. I have it on the best authority. That is to say, my authority. We cannot lose. On to victory! Cool, I guess. I guess that's it. Yep. Yeah. Um, right. These guys. Um. And we'll have the auxilia. They don't have any cavalry, so that doesn't matter. Horse archers, you can go and do your damage. I mean, we don't really need to move. We've attacked them. Uh, but while we have uh, archer superiority, we might as well use it. Uh, go fight those eastern infantry. Looks like they're going to charge at us. That's fine by me. The quicker they charge at us, the earlier we can get behind them. So this was one of the things I, I didn't like about the remastered. Looking at the remastered anyway, is the, uh, the huge arcade sort of bars um, around uh, showing the, uh, the distance that the uh, archers can fire. I know you get that in the new games, but it just looked terrible. Um, and also the UI was pretty bad, but apart from that it looked good. Um, we'll definitely be playing it anyway. Uh, we want to destroy this army, so let's go. Right, you can uh, go fight them. Right, you guys go there. Hillmen, I can't remember whether Hillmen are any good, honestly, but it doesn't really matter. I think this uh, this cavalry unit, we're going to have to go around the rock, so let's do that. They, our, uh... God, these guys are terrible in melee, aren't they? Did not realise how bad they would be in melee. You guys come back to that side. You can fire all the time you want. Our uh, Legionary Cohorts 
just shred these guys to like, absolute smithereens, so absolutely just destroy them. But, um, let's come round, let's charge them in the back. Yeah, they're already routing. How many have we lost? 3%. So we have lost a few troops. Oh, it looks like that unit. They've only been fighting Eastern Infantry and Hillman, I guess, but... Yeah, you go after the General. You come after the General as well. Yeah, that's everyone. This should break the General if we charge them. What's going on with all those cavalry? It is Spearmen, so we have to be careful. But they should break with the amount of people uh, that are already breaking. The enemy show their uh, right, don't fire anymore. Yeah, the general dead. We should be able to run all these guys down. They're going for the corner as well, so that's good for us. Uh, you guys come through here. Through here. Just need to get all these guys moving. And chase them down. That should get him a bit more command, hopefully, but I guess we'll see. Um, I think it will. Oof, they just absolutely <laughs> smashed that poor uh, Eastern Infantry or whatever it is. Or Hillman, I don't know. Speed. Uh. Oh, no, 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 don't fire, don't fire. Ah. Yeah, we don't want anyone to survive. Good. Very good. These guys should be easily retrainable as well. That's why we kind of wanted them for the... Uh, we'll send these guys north and then the actual sort of Praetorian armies will go back probably... Well, go towards Parthia once we're done. Um, these armies that are easier to retrain will have to go north into the terrible sort of regions now of Sarmatia and Russia. That there's nothing there. Um, yeah, lots of casualties inflicted by these legionary cohorts and the cavalry. Nice. And the Scythian mercenaries. A lot of it running them down, but you know, as long as they're destroyed, that's all that matters. Any trait gains? No, unfortunately not. Looks like a minor city. So it's still good. It's better than a large, better than a town or a large town. Um, yep, yeah, you can stay there. Cool. So we've done that one. Taking Jerusalem. Waiting on the siege engines for Petra. Make sure we move Manius. Okay, it's been moved. We are training down here. That's good. That's what I like to see. Now. Which one do we want to go for? This one's going to be a lot tougher. We might we might save that for next uh, next episode. Um, we'll see how long this one takes. So, oh, I was going to say, have we not <laughs> got uh, siege engines here? Bellinus the Cunning versus Tertius Silius. Okay, he's not got much. The only real threat is the faction leader there, um, and he's got a lot more. Oh, is he? Ah, oh, it's cavalry. Uh, not cavalry, it's chariots. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to have to shoot these guys. They have no armor, so that's the one thing. They do have five hit points, though. Um, these guys should be able to... Our archer auxilia should be able to pierce their armor, but it's just getting rid of all those hit points. And uh, the, the one thing is about them, though, they are terrible in cities. Like, they can't get charges off. Um, so... Although saying that is a Breton town, so there is a lot more space. Um, I'm interested to hear what Tertius Silius has to say about this battle, because I think it's the first battle with the Bretons, so it might be interesting what he says. You know me! I am a true Roman of the old style. I believe in discipline, dignity, and duty. I believe that Rome has a destiny to rule the world. I also believe that we have a destiny, a destiny that starts afresh here. Today we go into battle against the Britons, men both mad and brave in equal measure. 
They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall. As if that will protect them. The count of our warriors is vastly greater than theirs. So unless we fight like old women or idiots, victory is certain. Until the enemy walls crumble, our brave horsemen can do little. Let us breach those walls and hunt down the enemy. Those fools have never fought against me before. I hope to give them a nasty surprise. Now then, look to your front. Mark your target when it comes! That's it. I kind of, I was just thinking it's kind of worked out pretty good how uh, the armies have sort of stacked up. Uh, because this army will find would find it a huge amount harder to fight the other battle with the amount of uh, enemies that are there. Um, so that cavalry is probably useless. These guys, they're going to fire. Um, I mean, we don't need all these rams. Probably only need these three. Um, hmm, we could sort of see whether they'll stick any troops around this side. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Just in case, just just for them to stick some troops there. Honestly, not 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 really for anything else. Right, archers. Oh, they're already firing. I want you to fire at these guys. These are the true enemies. We don't need to start sending the uh, the rams forward yet. Mm. When are they going to be able to fire? Okay, now, good. Okay, there's no one around this side, so kind of worked. Let's get there and there. You drop that. You can walk to here. I'm hoping you won't get shot. It's a bit of a blind spot. It's raining arrows over here. Like we're not going to kill kill any of them for a little bit because of their five hit points. We should be able to, to pierce that. Well, they they have no armor, so. That shouldn't be the issue, it should just be the fact that they have five hit points. Our soldiers are at the walls! Now they must batter our way through! You guys. Yeah, they are still firing at them? That's good. It just doesn't look like they're using that much ammunition. Okay, yeah. Bringing them down, good. We've brought down ten men so far, so. How many men is it per one? Two. So five chariots, more than five now. These guys are doing their uh, battle cry already. That's so stupid. Okay, uh, you there, you there, and you. Actually, a bit closer that way. Otherwise, you'll get shot. You come up this way. Also, all of you guys should be on fire. Wait, and you. How many are we down to? More than half. No, no, no. Let's go back here. Uh, okay, none of these guys have been shot yet. That's good. Okay, this is going okay so far. We, we just need to kill those chariots. Shoot them, shoot them. That's the one thing about the remaster that looks good as well, is they've, they've all the battle controls are completely based on the new stuff, which is awesome. It's what you really want to see. Especially, uh... Especially just moving the troops, grouping them, you know, and then uh, it sounds so simple, but pressing once and they start running, like they do in the modern ones, rather than, you know, having to double click all the time, because quite often, if you don't click it right, so they're running now, and I do it slow, they'll do that. You have to do it really fast for them to keep running. Because you're double clicking it, they think that you've done a walk and then a run order. So they have that delay. Whereas the other way is a lot better. Okay. Are they still firing at the uh, chariots? Yes, they are. Amazing. Are you going to fire or.? Okay, that's only a warband. 
Uh, looks like they might be sending the chariots over this way. There's literally four left though now. Five left. They should be severely, severely reduced in uh, ability. I want you guys to just stand here. We'll also we'll fire at these guys. We'll wait here, yeah. Okay, it looks like they are coming back. Oh, we're getting shot by that wall. Run over this way. Fire at them. I'm not too bothered if you get shot now. It's you. You come over here. Oh, they're already fighting. I didn't. I didn't even realise this. What? What is going on here? <laughs> Fight them. Uh, they, it's just they can't see them, so if they run out, that would be awesome for us. Okay, you three looks like you're gonna do all right. Let's get in. Okay, uh, maybe not. Uh, they're both war bands. We should be able to cut through them quite easily. They're gonna send their general over here, but I'm about that right now. It's warband. That's swordsman. Right, let's let's get some peeler into them. Roman military engineering triumphs once more. The yeah, they're sending their general in. Order oh, you guys, you victory. come around here. This is awesome. Good. You've done a good move. If you can pathfind it or not, I don't know. Right, charge in. Ah, there we are. Brilliant. That should be them basically all breaking now. If we engage them all, that should be them all. Is there anyone else? Oh, there is. Fortunately, they've left these guys up here. Wow, you took a lot of damage. Um, now, this is the sad part. If I'd had the cavalry in here, we'd have been able to uh, run some of them down. Wow, these guys have absolutely been screwed. Uh, actually, we will come around here if we can. I'm hoping... I can't remember. Is this, if this is a large town, then I might be able to uh, retrain these guys. I can't remember. They're not the early legionary cohort, though. They are the just... Oh, no, they are the early legionary. That's all right, then. We should be able to retrain them anywhere, really. Apart from towns. Oh, look at that long line of cavalry. <laughs> um, okay. You guys might as well come up here and start firing. At whoever you can. Speed them things up a bit. Yeah. Do you have any... Yeah, that's the problem. You've got people left back here, so... It's going to take you ages to set up. Uh, no, let's come back down here. Away from these guys. Oh, they're just breaking as soon as they see our troops. How much of this is spearmen? Not much. I think we should engage these guys from the back here. And then we'll do a massive cavalry charge. Yeah. Wait, go this this base, this base, this base. <laughs> Whoa, how have you been are these swordsmen good? Do they have a lot of experience or something? Wow, you're getting wrecked. Getting absolutely wrecked. I'm hoping they don't lose their integrity and don't die. Because then we'll have to train a new one. They should get recovery. Yeah, they, we only lost 100, 100 men. Not too bad. So these guys... Wow, whoa! They lost a lot of men. Okay, so they did exist. They do still exist, I think. They inflicted 200, though. Ah, oh, yeah, they did well. Even though they, they died a lot. <laughs> Victory! So I'm a rope breather. Hmm. It is only a large town. I think we'll end slave. Um, get rid of that. We can afford to. 
get Jupiter. Now I'm going to group of auxilia. I'm guessing we need to be minor city then. To get the early legionary cohort. Looks like it. Not great. It's not far to go to retrain these guys though. Main thing we want to kind of uh, train here though is, is a birem just to skip across the sea. Oh, he's got a barbarian turncoat. That's good. Tax farm is not what we need really. Priest of Jupiter, one influence, one command and one management. That's really good. Artist plus one influence, worth it. Um, tedious speaker. I didn't think his speech was that bad actually. Because normally when it's a tedious speaker, they have a terrible speech. Ah, oh, I forgot about uh, Salamis here as well. We're still on this turn, aren't we? Yep. Do, do, do. All right, over there. Got any more? Have you got any field battles? Because this siege is going to take an absolute age. I guess we'll do it though. I think first things first, we, we do the construction. Mediolanium. Hmm. What do you want to do here? Keep going with. Hmm. Nice to have somewhere else to train at archers, so let's do that. Batavium. Decimus Lanus. Okay, you are just governing. I, you are 40, so I don't really want to use you for anything else. Uh, Palmer. That's one of the other things they've changed about the remaster. They have made it so that if you enslave a settlement, it doesn't just go to settlements with governors in anymore. It gets spread equally. They've also changed it so it's on uh, medium unit scale for recruitment and disbanding. So rather than say now I recruit this, uh, watch this. How many? It's 120. What's the population? 16,004. If we recruit that. Yeah, it's gone 120 down, whereas in the new in the remaster it will only go down 40. Uh, so it makes it kind of harder to, to game it, I guess. Um, what do we want here? Oh, a lot of trade in, in this region, but also still a lot of corruption. Yeah, let's get rid of that corruption. Uh, Corinth. I guess there's a lot of corruption here as well. 700. Yeah. Uh, Kaidonia, yeah, we're building that. Oh, we don't need to do that. Whenever I see a retrain the button, I'm, re I'm ready to press it. Um, this is a long way off growing as well, and like we don't really want to build any of these. Uh, just builds, just build armor. Doesn't matter. Uh, roads, yeah. Narbo Martius. Ooh, we should have a lot of mining income here, but I'm guessing there's a lot of corruption to go with it. Actually, no, there isn't, because it's so close to the uh, capital. It's only 350 mining income, though. That's pretty bad. Uh, let's get the market. Let's let's start making these uh, these places profitable, because we've just they've probably been they've probably been running at a negative for quite a while, uh, and it's good to see them finally sort of becoming profitable uh, after we've invested so much in them. Cyrene, um, let's get the roads, although I'm guessing there's not much road trade here, no, because we're not connected, and we're not got a trade deal with uh, Numidia, we're at war with them, uh, okay, go for the market then, yeah, that will increase corruption though, you know what, population order is stable here, so let's go for growth, uh, Tarsus, the only thing we can <laughs> build is that. Oh, wow, there's a lot of corruption at Tarsus. When is it going to grow? Quite soon. It's got 8% growth. Wow. Uh, Palmyra. Go with the market. Antioch. Walls. And Cordoba. Yeah, we want to be recruiting units here. What? can we recruit? Everything we really want, honestly, for this army. Apart from maybe better cavalry. No, that's just war dogs. Maybe legionary cohorts rather than early. Hmm. But first of all, we need to be able to leave, so let's get public order. Oh, or armor. Go with the public order, and then I think next thing we'll do is get an armorer. 
Um, let's just check, make sure we, we are constructing everywhere we can. Like suggested, uh, yeah, a lot of these places are just small, so they have that we've built everything we can already. Yeah, Namonum. Yeah, all good, cool. How many settlements do we have? 45. Nearly half the map, I guess. I think it's 99. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, still recruiting, all good. Uh, so it's three guys down here. Oh, that, guy, that guy's just come of age, I guess. He's okay. He's 40. It would be nice if he had one command so he could take over this and start learning. Um, oh, Manius. Forgot about you. Oh, no, we didn't. Cool. Right. I think to end the episode, let's have a look at this. Now, this is Secundus Urbicus. He's 19. Looks pretty good. He's got his quartermaster, priest of Jupiter, mentor, plus one command. That's very good. What about him? Does he have anything we can give? Biographer? Mm, no. Trusty, publicly loyal, and plus one morale for obsessional trainer. This guy has more traits, but he's older. So we'd prefer the 19-year-old to uh, for to do this. Going to be interesting. We're going to use our archers like we did last time. Probably speed it up a little bit. Ah, wow. I'm guessing you are a chariot as well. We'll do the same to you. A lot less, uh, a lot less of you. 30. Ah, it's close. These chosen swordsmen, what are they like? Blumenek. 18 defense, 14 attack. Praetorians. Oh, we can't see. I'm pretty sure Praetorians do beat that though. They have one, two, they got two slinger, three slingers. I don't think they'll be able to fire too well over the walls. All those warband are, are easy targets though, but the chosen swordsmen are going to be hard. So we've really got to focus our archers on the. Uh, on the general and the chosen chosen swordsman. I'm interested to hear his speech because, you know, odds are pretty even. Um, and it is a siege battle. So let's see what he has to say. There are many roads to victory. Today our road will be paved with stones. Remember this and show no mercy. Those are our enemies. The Britons. Brave? Yes. Foolish? Certainly. Soon to be dead? That man is up to you. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. Our numbers here are about equal. Therefore, a victory here will be hard fought, but glorious. All that said, we are the stronger. Every one of you is better than they. Remember this and take heart from the memory. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. Now, battles are only drills with some blood splashed around. March forwards, and the enemy will quail. The auspices have been taken, and gods be praised, nothing can be found to deny us victory today. With such portents, we need only march upon the enemy. We go now to our bloody business. I haven't seen the uh, the drills line before, honestly. That's cool. That's kind of interesting. I think we will fully use our archers here, honestly. I will have a, a smaller unit, a smaller sort of attacking group around this side. I'm just hoping that they keep their general over this side. We'll only have, you know, this amount of people. They'll be in their own group. Um, these archers. Also, we need to arrange these guys. Yeah, that's better. Oh. Well, actually, you group don't like how the archers are spread across two lines, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, don't fire at will, and don't do that. We're going to have to stay quite close in the middle here, because they have actually upgraded the walls to have towers everywhere. Um, you guys... 
waiting here, and of course, okay, so it was the younger one who got put as the general, which is good. So we'll look at him. There he is, ready to go. Ready to fight. Wow. A little more crowded than the last battle. Now, oh, where are those chariots? Oh. What are they doing? <laughs> the crazy. Uh, we need to fire at Chosen Swordsman if we can. Now, let's move forward. What about these guys? What are they? They're just warband. Don't want to bother about the warband. We want to kill the chariots and the chosen swordsmen. Nope, they're running. It's going to be a hard fought battle, but we aren't. Oh, that's chosen swordsmen as well. They do look awesome, to be fair. Um, but we're not too far away to retrain any of these guys. Honestly, we might even send a few down to be re retrained and send a couple up to re replace them. And then the ones that are being retrained that have a bit more sort of value, uh, a bit more experience, we can spread that to the new ones. Just waiting for these chariots to come down here. I'm pretty sure they are. Well, who are you? Shoot at those swordsmen. No, nope, not fire well. Also put you on guard mode so you don't move to do it. Should be shooting them in the side and the back, which will be good. I'm missing quite a few shots there. <laughs> Once these chosen swordsmen are gone, the warband should be easy. Easy pickings for our Praetorians. It's just those chariots. They, they just do have the ability to, to completely screw with you. running away from the arrows but over here who do we face warband one chosen swordsman unit uh, also uh, all of you guys fire at will we just want to make as much damage as possible to their units right let's go then let's we might as well on this side looks pretty easy pickings um, we should be able to deal with those three quite easily. Uh, it's just the Chosen Swordsman again, as we've said. Uh, oh, these uh, these Chosen Swordsmen here. Do you reckon you can hit them? Hmm, I'm not sure whether they will be able to. Okay, looks like they can. Coming down here as well. What are they doing with their chariots? Yeah, that chosen swordsman unit is only down to 16 already. Right, I think over this way, we'll stand our units here. I think, honestly, we're going to have to uh, break down the walls and the gate just because. They won't come in there. Uh, they won't come and stand by the gate, otherwise. So we can't shoot them. And then we'll just leave our leave leave the uh, the holes open, and we'll uh, send our archers in to shoot at them. Who are these? Those are warband leaving, so it's gonna just be fighting one chosen swordsman and a warband again. Hmm. The swordsmen are quite good as well. They're just n nowhere near as good as the chosen swordsman. I think we can we can reach there. Just getting the right angle for our archers. They hate it though. They see they know they know when we're firing at them, like before the arrows have even arrived, because it's the AI. Oh, they are losing a lot of men to that, which is awesome. Turning their back it is helping us. <laughs> like, <laughs> thanks guys. Now they're coming. I just want to fire at their uh, general, though. That's the real. Th uh, they're the real damage inducers. Not as efficient uh, front on, but. Our soldiers are at the gates. Should get a good volley off here. 
Oof. Our soldiers have done their work well. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> Ram has broken through the gate. Let's have a look. Who is this? They're the chosen swordsmen. I'm pretty sure you should be able to fire at them now then. Yeah, just stand there and fire, I think. Might as well kill as many of them as you can. Who are these? I mean, we've killed nearly two units of Chosen Swordsmen already. Be nice if we could kill those those guys. I'm gonna set up a warband against <laughs> against Praetorians. Are you gonna charge or what? Because if you charge through the gate, you know you will get screwed. That is the problem with going through the gate. Yeah. Have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Cool. We are taking this cautiously, but obviously we want to reduce the da damage to us as much as possible. Its work. Are you fired yet, or what? Because you can charge, and also you can charge once you fired, because it's just a warband. Uh, what's going on over here? Wait. This gate's been destroyed. Yeah, kill those chosen swordsmen if you can. Uh, archers, who's over there? Just warbands. Right, all these guys. Okay, you can go fight those warband. You can go maybe fight the warband. I don't want to charge through there. It's just terrible. What about you guys? Roman military engineering okay. triumphs once more. The walls are down. Order your men on to victory. Yeah, good. Yeah, attack them in, in the rear. Right, you guys come here. Right, over, Our over, over have here. The walls. Now is the time Fired to at those chosen swordsmen. I think... See, look at all the uh, enemy just charging down here now. Be nice if we could shoot at the warlord. Uh, warband our spears, but I think we all we need to do is kind of, yep, they break, chop them to pieces. Now. This way, how many Chosen Swordsmen are left here? The Warband are broken, Chosen Swordsmen only 30. Cool. Oh, there's another one here. I thought they only had three. I'm guessing they had four. Uh, what do we do with these guys then? Uh, up this way, I guess. I think we just wait here for the time being. Oh, no, no. Just you guys. These Praetorians. Do we want to do something incredibly risky and charge their general? No. Not while they do that. Oh, Slingers. They're actually firing us. So, uh, yeah, let's get rid of them. Let's get rid of you guys. Uh, you, you, and you. Oh no, you're archers. You, you, and you. I want you to come here if you can. Running. You, I want you to come over here as well. Same as the cavalry, because we do want you guys in. And the archers. Let's get there. Slingers are gone. So the chosen swordsman, good. We wanna I really want to charge that general. If we can get them into a massive blob here, we will charge up there. These guys come here. Love you guys. Here on guard mode. 
if you can. Same as you. Yeah, they're firing their, their peeler. Cool. You guys. Uh, I would like you in here. Oh, general's getting shot by the guys. So here. Oh, we don't need you on guard mode. Uh, you can be in reserve. Also, you can come across. It's just pure warband now. There, looks like they're they're routing. Let's go get this barbarian warlord. Let's fire at them. Let's fire at them while we're waiting for the Praetorians to charge there. If we can cut all this big blob off, that would be incredible. Okay, halt, halt, halt. Go kill the warlord if you can. Not doing a huge amount of damage, just those five hit points are just so brutal. These Praetorians, let's get into them. Let's get stuck in, let's go. You guys, let's attack those slingers. Oh, come on. Okay, we need to stop firing at our own troops here. His men know their doom approaches. But we've cut all those units off here as well. Let's charge forward if we can. These Praetorians can do the job, I think. Speed up a little bit. They're doing a good job, those Praetorians there. What are these? The problem is... Oh, is they just slingers? How much warband is there here? Because we do not want them fighting spearmen. Uh, okay, you can, you just come through this mass of bodies and kill them all. Yeah. Just go. <laughs> all of you just go. Right, you two, back off. We'll leave the rest of this up to the infantry. Yeah. Just a grind now. Just a grind. Yep, yeah, cool. Nice one. Maybe don't throw your peeler. I guess they have. Nice. How much did we lose? 9%. I'll take that. More than 10 to 1. On a siege battle as well. Against okay troops, I guess. The killing of those uh, those chosen swordsmen early was definitely a huge help. It would have been a lot more losses, I think, if we'd have fought them. Our Praetorians should have should beat them still easily, but well, not easily, but uh, yeah. Casualties inflicted. These legionary cavalry a lot. It was probably in that blob that was running. Same as these Praetorians, they all got a lot of kills. How did the archers do? Yeah, lots. That's good. Very good. Very, very good. Happy with that. Hopefully, yeah, trait increase. Good. You mean he should get a trait increase. Right, we're in a minor city here. Should be able to retrain, like, early legionary guys here. So we can send them back from Samano Breva once we've taken the middle one. Uh, what do we want to do? I think we enslave. Um, get rid of Freya. Get Jupiter. I guess they didn't have an armor upgrade, these guys. Um, 
Although the early legionaries can get just retrained back in Elysia, so not really more worthwhile mog uh, on to year come. So well, let's see what we can do here. Not many, not much experience. What was that trait increase, by the way? Confident commander, one command. Good, 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 good. That can uh, keep going up. Yeah, we might need to send two back. Don't think so, though. Oh, yeah, urban cohort, different. Uh, do we send? I think we can send these two. <laughs> can they get retrained at Mediolanium? Also, we might want to send some cavalry. Uh, yeah, looks like that's it. We didn't lose any archers. Uh, that's cavalry. We can send. Yeah, when that's done. Oh wait, we do have units here. We'll send an urban and a legionary cavalry up to replace these guys. Uh, they will join. And obviously, once this army's done, they will go up to join them. I think this army will move against Dacia. Because the, Briton the Britons don't seem too strong. We'll fight Germania after Dacia, I guess. But yeah, that's, uh, I think that's everything for this episode, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe, like, and comment if you would like to. And thank you very much for watching, and I should see you again on the next video.